everyone welcome back to another episode of green life garden and home diy channel this is mommy green life and so today i just wanted to just show you guys my sorrel plants it was a surprise harvest today and you can see that i have been growing these in little i guess those would be like a three gallon bucket i uh planted them at the beginning of the season and it only takes these probably just i don't know if you plant it around spring right at fall you got you some uh sorrel so there you go but i only had like three little bucket little uh pots that i planted this year because i had so many other things that i was doing and didn't want to uh get too tied up uh with too much but i have a bag full here y'all already know i'm going to be making my Jama jamaican soil drink but just wanted you to be encouraged and look at how much i was able to get off of just these little three um plants alone and so um let me show you also i never got a chance to even put these in the pot i've already came came over here as you can see and pulled um pulled off some of the the uh the soil so yeah and there's one growing on that one that i never got a chance to plant and this one right here looked like it was trying to take off and do something uh other than that i have i'm out here on the land have some okra that is like gigantic and i have some that has already begun to dry out for me and go to seed which is fine i'm just gonna leave them right there and let them go ahead on and do their thing but got some more okra right here too but yeah, just want to show you what just a few little pots could do. And I have came out here and harvested from these little same little pots before. But this is way more than enough to make my drink, jam, or whatever I want to make. So, till next time, I'm going to say peace and blessings. And uh, we out. One love. Okay, so I also decided to go ahead <clears throat> and dehydrate some of my uh, sorrel and what i'm doing is going in i'm removing this part and i'm going to keep it because this will actually uh make pectin and i'm just cutting it off and taking the seed out the bottom i'm cutting around the rim this will come right out you'll be left with this still got some more to go i just wanted to take a moment to show you that once I get done, I'm going to wash everything thoroughly. I'm going to dehydrate these. Keep what I'm going to use. And of course, for my soil drink. And this I'm going to put in the freezer and save for pectin. This is the part that you actually let dry out on the limb if you want it to produce more seeds for you. It's green right now, but when it's actually dry dry, this would be like a brown, dark black, and the seeds will just come falling out. So if you want seeds to save, let this dry out on the limb, and uh, you'll get a much better uh, germination rate by doing it that way. Okay, so I am done. I went back. I got the... Um, the soil off all the way around the rim here that's what these little white pieces are this will stain your hands temporarily but that's that deep dark red that i love lets you know that that's a lot of antioxidants there as well okay so that's pretty much it getting everything washed up and some water and a little baking soda or if you want to put just a dab of vinegar or whatever you use to cleanse your fruits and vegetables go ahead and do that and i'm going to get these stored away i'm going to get the dehydrator going going so i can get some of them stored away and the other rest i could probably leave out for now but and put it in the refrigerator because i'm going to be using them within the next uh probably go ahead and make it this month and just keep it stored it has alcohol content in it so it has a tendency to last for a while even if it doesn't have alcohol content in the drink i'm speaking of the jamaican soil drink 
Um, if you put it to the back of the refrigerator, I've never had any to go bad, ever. Alright, so, this is it. And these pieces, again, came from around this part. Alright, so I have my dehydrator here. I'm going to go ahead and get it set um, on the lowest setting. And I'm going to go ahead and put these over in it so they can start drying out. These are going in the freezer. This is what they're going to um, be stored in. Well, I'll get another jar, but I've got it labeled. Once you get them all dried out, you can hear that crunch. They're going to be dry like that. And once you rehydrate them, they will turn red, um, just like before. Or well, they will give you that dark red juice that you're looking for once you dehydrate them. And um, y'all, this jar, I'll tell you what, it smells like candy. Okay, so as you can see, the soil has all pretty much dried out. I got some that I don't think is as dry as I would like it to be but for the most part it's, it's been drying for about 10 hours I've had it on about 125 degrees and I may have to do just a little bit more I could even let these set out I just in the beginning I don't like to do that because you know it is a food it will spoil but it smells so sweet I mean it smells like some type of candy that I cannot put a name to. <laughs> anyway, so much um, for this video. This is my surprise har harvest of sorrel that I have decided to go ahead and um, dehydrate. I'm going to use some, of course, for my Christmas drink that I do every year. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. One love.